Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Jack Conrad, 45 Euro 2021 finals are complete. We react and look back at what we thought might happen. Italy uh, take this one in penalties. Um, heartbreak for England. You know, I think elation for Italy and correctness for one co-host of the 45. On the nose, Jack, well done. Uh, in my defense, however, I did say if this goes to penalties, I don't like England's chances. But I was wrong about why I didn't like England's chances. It no. wasn't because Pickford is an inferior goalkeeper. We will have no to be fairs. It and came I said down XYZ. to it came down unfortunately to the miss from Rashford. I, I had an audible oh no when he started to do the stutter. Um, but they were equal with to one another, both Pickford and Don Ruma, in terms of the denials and how how big they came up. But I just felt horrible for for those England penalty takes yeah. Sancho especially you know he and Rashford coming on late Rashford with the miss and then it's not either any of their fault right yeah. Saka, Saka as well, yeah. like it's that was just awful like, so I I think there's a lot of takeaways from this match I think Southgate made a lot of mistakes but I don't think the penalties were where his mistakes started or where they I mean they probably ended around where the mistakes happened because that's when the game ended it's kind of a dumb point um, but I, you're right. I mean, they scored too early. What I, what I want to, what I want to remark on is that I don't think that we can we can hum and ha about. Oh, you should have done X. You should have done Y. He did what he did. Penalties. You know what he beat. he said? It's his decision. These players, based on their how they took penalties in training, this is why I selected them. Uh, not having Grealish take one, not having Sterling take one. I think is a fine decision. I think people are, are making far too much of a point on the penalties when in reality England's failure in this match came by During not by open not play. by not taking it to Italy when they looked so weak when they were they had it in the first half. Yeah. They'd have kept exploiting. Look, after that Shaw goal, I looked at that and I said, They're gonna blow by my one goal prediction for them because they they started out with a great shape. I loved the wing backs. Literally, Barella Verratti just refused almost to go out and help him in the wings. And Di Lorenzo and Emerson were just completely lost out wide to the width of England. And they looked tremendous. It was fullback to fullback connection. They should have kept up the tempo because Wembley was ready to suffocate those Italian players. But they didn't. They realized, oh crap, they're good in the transition. Let's not give them chances. Let's still sit pretty deep. And they were far too passive after that initial goal. They should have gone for it. Should have gone for the throat in the first fifteen and just buried this match. They were Italy's defense was in a shambles. We talked about it on. Yeah. England had six guys in the box on yeah, the goal yeah. that Shaw scored, and, and I, it was a great left foot. And but they were they needed to pounce on them. I was saying they Italy's shape was was poor off the start. Uh, and it was As corrected. Said, it was a matter of time. It was they corrected. were going to fix it. Exactly. It was corrected towards the end of the first half, so this kind of match calmed down, and the second half was all Italy. Uh, so I think it, it was poor in that sense from Southgate, poor in that sense from England for not taking the initiative. You've and they did play that. with fear. They did play with fear. This is, I think, one of their best they chances at a trophy. Towards yeah. the second. I mean, if you look at it statistically speaking, Italy were dominant in all five of these categories that matter to degree that any statistic matters and shots shots on target possession passes passes completed and it wasn't close right so i also want to have one more stat really quick actually if this is gonna load after extra time the xg was 2.23 for italy and 0 0.6 for england yeah i mean you can't after the first two minutes they did okay england did for the rest of the first half but then the second half they got nervous the dominance of that italian midfield shone through um, the immediate concern after the Shaw goal that we talked about as the match was going on is that Italy were going to, or excuse me, that England were going to sit back and not attack. And they didn't, the red bounce of the first half, England were okay. Yeah, it was XG for the first half was 0.24 for Italy, 0.34 for England. So I mean, over half your XG in the 120 minutes came in the first 45. They really gave up after that. I, you know, but then that second half, it felt like it was just a matter of time that Italy was going to get the equalizer. I don't know that it, too many people would have picked Bonucci as a guy to get it, but that's what happened. It was just right place, right time. I think, um, you know, I have to actually give some respect to Jordan Pickford. I think he was pretty, pretty good today. He had a lot of good he moments. He gave up two goals the entire tournament. Yeah, he was very, very good. Right? Do yeah, you're yeah. correct. Donnarumma uh, winning, I think was I think Donnarumma won player of the tournament, which I felt like... It was a bit of a surprise, in my opinion. I, he was so big in the He was very, stuff. very good. He was very, very good. Don't get me wrong, but I was a bit surprised in that. Um, I think it's the first time a, that somebody's that club has ever won two penalty shootouts to win the title. 
or two penalty uh, shootouts in the same tournament. I, I heard that statistic. It was crazy. We'll that, that'd, be, that that'd be surprising if that was the case. Anyways, in terms of the penalties, I don't think Southgate um, got it wrong in the sense – the only thing he got wrong was Saka fifth. That's the only one where I was like, dude, like – in what sense does a guy who's never taken a professional penalty have any right to be taking the fifth one? Give him like third or fourth, or like give him any of the middle three where it's not like you put off. Rashford fifth. It makes I, a lot I more think sense. But I, he says he does it in descending order of, of quality, right? Of your best was first, Harry Kane, Harry Maguire. We were both kind of surprised to see Harry Maguire and, come and up, you know but he dispatched it. It was beautiful. I, I think that honestly, in terms of t- penalty talent, that's probably the order. If, if, if you ask me, in terms of Maguire isn't as technically good as Rashford or Sancho, but I think he has the confidence and he has yeah, the mentality. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah. that was what probably edged him there. there. His experience as well. So probably Kane, Maguire, Rashford, Sancho, Saka was probably your best five takers, but you're not taking it in the, I don't know what the training complex Three is. Three of those guys are 22. And, and you're not taking right. those in training. You're taking those with 60, 65,000. There was not 65,000. There was probably like 70, 80,000. Fans like screaming and the ent- an entire country that is on 55 like, years there's there's probably less movement during that match than there was during the entire covid lockdown there's better better adherence to stay home well for the people who didn't go to the game obviously so Saka fifth i feel so bad for I him i feel terrible for all three of them you know if he buries it then he's a hero if he misses it then then or we don't know that he's a hero because we don't know what happens next right he's still got to convert he did his job yeah and you know he didn't do his job end of the day you're a footballer you have to do your job but you do have to have a lot of sympathy for him as a as a 19 year old as a guy who had a great tournament but this is what's going to remember um so i i think what happens next for Saka is going to be very interesting i think he has the mentality and the talent to to bounce back from it um, but I just, I mean, I tweeted about it, um, right when it happened, when our I, 19th minute, when, our 20th minute, when I saw Sancho and Rashford coming out, I was like, look, you know, it's a lot of pressure, but it's out in, def- in South Gate's defense, right? We can say, Oh, he, he brought him on terrible subs, but end of the day, if he doesn't bring him on, he showed and, a tremendous amount of confidence in his players. If he love that, if he didn't, or I, if he didn't bring on those guys and had Henderson take one and Henderson misses, you're saying, why didn't you bring Rashford on? Rashford's a good it's penalty. A, it's a lose-lose so situation. It's, it's, it depends. It is not in Southgate's control. It's in the player's control. They missed the pens. Pickford saved two. But my issue with the subs is that you didn't show confidence in Rashford or Sancho. To bring them on earlier. To bring them on earlier. Well, Rashford hadn't made an appearance since the group stage. Exactly. You didn't show confidence in these guys until they needed to take penalties. So you did not have confidence in them as general footballers. You had confidence in their ability to plunk a penalty home, but that was a lot tougher on them, I think. So, Italy the favorite for the World Cup? We have England, talked a lot France. about uh, England. I think Italy, very, very deserving winners on the oh, game. Oh, 100%. And they were the fantastic. The, they were so dominant in the group stage yes. and just got it done in the knockout. Yeah. That's what you have to do. I mean, and, and I was stunned to see Jorginho miss his penalty results. and have, have Donnarumma be the one to, to win it for them. But Donnarumma... He's going to be a staple for them for the next decade plus. Going to PSG. As long as he wants to play. Going to PSG was a weird choice in my eyes for him. For free. Um, How does that happen? Free. Free. I mean, you know, probably got like, I think he got like 10 million euros off of that. That's why he went on a free. So Raiola could get a bigger chunk of, uh, of agent. Anyway, we're getting off, off topic. I think Italy are very, very good. And I'm interested what happens with Mancini next. I don't know what his interests are. If he wants to go back to the club level. Because he's obviously just won his nation by Euros, so it's a it's a great moment for him. Um, I do worry about World Cup because they're lose Keeling and Bonucci. Pre- Are they probably. retiring? I don't know if they're retiring. I don't think they're Keeling is going to play until he losing them in the sense that or he gets bit by Luis Suarez. Again. They have they they have to decline at some point. Will it happen before World Cup twenty two? Maybe I know Keeling signed an extension and he's only made twenty one appearances the last two seasons. How old is Keeling? If he's like thirty six, yeah he. Yeah, he's 30, 32. He turns 37. 34, he turns 37 yeah. in a month. Yeah. So he will be 38 come next World Cup. I'd be stunned if he's still playing for them. So it no, is coming. It's coming in yeah. Rome, which is very funny, actually, from Benucci. Um, but I would be very, very surprised if. Uh, yeah, Benucci's 34. So it's like. Yeah, their combined age is 70. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stunning. I think Benucci will be hurt. Next time, and they do have some good young players. They have a lot of good young players. I think Verratti still has a few more tournaments in him. The guy from Lille, Barella, What's his name? tremendous from Lille. Center back from Lille. That they won't play. Mentioning won't play from Lille. Lille. 
Uh, French club he plays for, isn't it? Uh, I'm blanking. Somebody tell us. We're, we're both blanking as well. Uh, I'm tired. Federico Chiesa. He was my player. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievably good. He's going to be a steal for Juve, however much they buy him for from Fiorentina. Um, he is going to be a great player for the next five, six years. Um, he's, what, 24 years old, something like that? Um Italy, not much you can say, and not much uh, you can say. You talk for for days about how good Italy were. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about with that guy. With that center I, I legitimately have no There's clue. There's a young guy that, that plays that they want that Mancini's won't play. Sven Botman for no for Italian Net- Netherlands. No, the Italian. Um, never mind. Uh, yeah, I think we're. I'm really tired. Yeah, right, that'll do it for us. No, I I I think that this was actually is this the start for England? I think it. Look, the semifinal, the World Cup. One better final Euro. That's gonna be tough because World Cup is hard. It's gonna be like tough. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not getting Germany weak as they are. Ukraine, Denmark, as your three matches to get no. to the final. You're not getting that in the World Cup. I'm sorry. No matter how good your draw is, you're gonna get a Belgium. You're gonna get a Brazil, Brazil an Argentina, Argentina, a USA uh, who are gonna knock them off. Uh, a Mexico, any Brazil. of the. African clubs. African this teams. was, I think, England's pro- pro- probably best chance at a trophy in terms of it was there for the taking after that Shaw goal. And I know that. But that's in, where I think in, Southgate has to take that next step with this club. It's like, okay, I got to show more attacking prowess and take advantage of the speed and the creativity that we've got. Yeah. I mean, I know the defense wins titles and you had the great defense, but you could not create against Italy this time around. I don't want to say I was right and I'm a footballing genius. But I was right, and I was a footballing genius by saying that England could not break down Italy because Italy – or England could not break down Italy, yeah. Uh, they just could not string passes together in the midfield. And Rice and Phillips were good this tournament. But not playing Henderson, I the think – Siglio, that's what I was thinking of. He's 28. Plays for Lyon. Okay, I think I am with you now. Maybe. I don't really – I'm still not – I think there were a lot of mistakes by Southgate, but they do deserve credit for making it to the final. Regardless of how weak their opponents might have been, they got to the last step, and they were look. If Rashford and Sancho and Saka bury those penalties, like they're two penalties away from, like this is a completely different discussion. Oh, Southgate got well, it's it. It's over. If right. Pickford saves them. Yeah, exactly. If, if, if Pickford goes the way it did, but who knows? It, 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 ifs it, it, and buts, chips and nuts. Exactly. Blah, 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 I'm blah. excited. These are two teams that I think are, are two clubs, that, nations. I just keep saying teams and clubs, two nations that are going to be. I think another tournament or two in them with a very similar squad. Maybe not Italy with a center back pairing, which is going to be the biggest issue to replace. Um, I think Southgate should stay. I think that he's got this group in a really good spot, and I think you want consistency to push them to finally get a trophy because they've tasted so close so many times. He's got to have more faith in them going forward. I agree. I think that they... Especially in a World Cup, you can't... I think he had made a lot of correct choices, and I think he learned a lot of things too, so I'm very interested... Where England go from here. Loud wrong, on the nose, well done. Congratulations, Italy. That will do it for us, Jack Conrad. This has been the 45 with our look back at the Euro final 2020. Won, won by Italy in penalties. That'll do it. Let us know what you think in the comments. Look for us on the Twitter at the 45. Take care now.